Hey up everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be painting these two cats Willow and Buffy. I thought I'd try and slot another video in before New Year. I know I'm cutting it quite fine so I've literally only did this voiceover um, in late evening on the 30th of December so I thought best hurry up and do that so that I can upload it on 31st of December and then get me a couple of videos in for this month. This is one of two paintings I did back to back for the same client and I've also done another painting for her a while back as well of two cats which is already on my channel so you can go and have a look at that if you want as well. And I've also featured these two cats in a previous video where I did a tutorial on how I painted the eyes so if you want to have a look at that I'll link to that as well. As usual, all supplies are going to be listed in description for anybody that's interested in what it is that I'm actually using. I think it's a lot more helpful doing that than people keep having to ask every time and having to answer the same questions over and over again. When I'm watching other people's videos, I often go into the description to see if they've listed the supplies because I find it helpful as well to just be able to find them on like Amazon or something like that and then I know what it is that they're using. I can just buy it myself if I want to try it. So anyway, the first cat up is Willow and she's a tortoise shell and white. I think most of the cats in these three paintings had a lot of white on them and white fur always takes longer than any other colour. <laughs> you will notice that there's a lot of colours going on in the white fur. It does reflect a lot of different colours. For example, you can see blues and ochres and slight pinky colours and so it's quite important to not paint white fur just using like grey and white because it's it never really looks like that. It's always got a multitude of colours going on in it and it don't really look very good if you're just using grey and white. It can look a bit flat and not particularly convincing. I must admit after painting all these cats I did sort of hanker after just doing a nice plain black cat but <laughs> there were no black cats in these paintings they just sort of like paint the cells black fur for me just paints itself So anyway, the other cat painting I won't be uploading next, I don't think, because what it is I'm going to be having too many border collie paintings, not only one that I've already done, but all the rest of ones that I've got on my list are now border collie paintings, and I want to just try and break them up with something different, so I'm going to save it for the middle of them, and I've also got a schnauzer that's going to be coming up, and I'll use that to break the collies up as well, because otherwise it's just going to be collies, collies, collies. I mean, I don't have my charcoal drawings where I get a little bit more variety, but a lot of people that follow this channel prefer the acrylic painting videos and the charcoal ones don't generally do as well. I just can't get people to commission acrylic paintings of anything other than dogs, really. Other than, like I said, these cats, which were quite abnormal and especially like three from the same client, which it, it, things like that just don't happen very often. I'd love to get some horse portraits and stuff like that in acrylic, but <laughs> I've not had one for years. I've had a few in charcoal, but I don't get any in acrylic. 
So now we're moving on to Buffy, and Buffy is a tabby and white, but again, predominantly white, just like the others. <laughs> I'm just blocking in the base layer here, and that's what I do with all my paintings. I apply first layer, which is like the, the blocking layer, and that's just to get basically some paint onto paper. And then you do your modeling layer, where you start tidying things up and maybe start adding a little bit of texture. And then your final detailing layer where you, you start adding all your details. Obviously the blocking in layer tends to be the ugly stage. What I often call the ugly stage because they can look uh, quite messy at that point. And then the modelling layer is when you really start to make them look a lot better before adding the detail. Which I've literally just started to do now here on Buffy's nose. So anyway, I wanted to thank everybody who has supported my channel in any way over this past year. I'm not really a New Year person, I tend to just see it as like a continuation of time. And if you ever want to make any changes in your life, you can do it at any time you want. You don't have to wait until January 1st. So, I mean, I'm not bothered about how other people celebrate it. So if you celebrate New Year, then uh, I hope that you enjoy yourself. I'll just be inside with dogs and just doing my normal thing, probably doing some drawing and getting some work done. I'm wanting to try and develop a few new things in coming year and maybe 2024 is the year that I finally set up a Patreon. I think you guys need to give me a big kick up the backside to, to get on with that, to be honest, because <laughs> I'm, I'm just uh, procrastinating a little bit too much about it. I do definitely want to work towards relying a little bit less on commissions and then maybe I can start just drawing and painting things that I want to do and then I can do more variety and do things that I never get commissioned to do as well. I think I'll always enjoy doing commissions but relying on them as your primary source is, uh, well, it can be a little bit stressful because they can be quite unstable. Sometimes they really dry up and it's really a case that you could do with having other steady income streams, you know, for when you're just not getting many commissions coming in. That said, I have pretty much survived on just commissions for the last three and a half years. I've managed for that long. But I really don't want to keep pushing my luck on it, so... So now that I'm getting close to completing Buffy, I'll take the opportunity to thank you for watching this video, and especially if you've gotten this far through it and not clicked off beforehand. If you've enjoyed it, then be sure to give it a like, and if you're not subscribed yet, then consider doing that as well. And I'll be back in 2024 with more videos. I'll keep posting them and keep slogging away. Any kind of support is much appreciated and helps me to put out more content for you as well. So that'll be it for this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!